crews are cleaning up a massive oil spill. You can see it on Interstate 412 at the Keystone Lake Bridge. Troopers also closed down one lane after the driver of the semi truck nearly rolls into the water. News reporter Liz Bryan tells us what caused the accident, accident what happened just before 10. Well, the troopers tell me a woman was driving right here with a flat tire and she was going pretty slow. That's when the semi truck driver came up behind her, didn't notice this. He clipped the car. You can see all this glass. And let me show you what happens next. Workers are vacuuming out while crude oil is left inside this tanker truck. This tank holds 9,000 gallons of oil, and crews think there's about 4,000 gallons left inside here. So that means the rest of the oil, 5,000 gallons, is here. A little bit of oil can create a very big sheen, so it looks a lot worse than it is. Mark Bershay from the Department of Environmental Quality says this oil isn't hazardous to these interested fishermen or area residents. That's because the city doesn't have any water treatment plants on this lake, therefore no one's drinking the water. Not, not as bad as compared to a lot of saying. Crews are putting out these buoys and skimmers to absorb all this oil. This should take a week. After that, Mark says it breaks down naturally. The oil that's in the water, it dilutes and spreads out in a big lake like this. It's broken up and it dilutes very quickly. As for the driver of this semi truck, firefighters took an hour to rescue him. The driver was pinned in here with the engine on top of him. Firefighters removed the engine before getting to the driver. It's not something you want to see happen, but uh, it, it doesn't look like it's going to be a huge issue or a, a, an issue that's going to have any kind of long term impact. And troopers are investigating this as a possible DUI. They question why the woman was driving on this bridge with a flat tire. They even tell me they found evidence on scene pointing to a DUI, but they will not tell me specifically what. At Keystone Lake, Liz Bryant, 2 News works for you. And we do have an update on the truck driver's condition tonight. He is now in stable condition. He was taken by air to a Tulsa hospital in serious condition. Also, the two women in the car were transported with minor injuries, but have since been released. We have new information tonight.